Hey guys, welcome back to JPS Cast. We are doing another movie review with the wonderful Mandy. Hi again. This time we are covering Imagine Me and You, uh, which came out in 2005. Uh, it was written and directed by Ole Parker um, and produced by BBC Films, Cougar Films Limited, and Ealing Studios. Um, the stars of the movie are Piper Parabo playing Rachel, Lena Headey playing Luce, Matthew Good playing Heck, Celia Emery playing Rachel's mother, and Anthony Head playing Rachel's father. And then Darren Boyd playing Coop, who is uh, Heck's best friend. And best man. And best man, yes. So the movie starts off um, kind of showing parallel uh, slice of life between... Uh, Rachel getting ready, ready for her wedding, and uh, Luce getting ready for um, the flower delivery for the wedding. And leads, of course, to the wedding itself, where uh, Luce catches Rachel panicking in front of a punch dish. You want to tell the wonderful people why? Because she dropped her ring in it. Why else, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Only the best. So they did. So they did have that cute moment at the beginning, as like Rachel is going up the aisle. They caught each other's eye. Mm, yes. Yep. So it's you know it, Rachel is is getting uh, married, but she catches this. Absolute goddesses, uh, eyes with her own. I've had a crush on Lena Headey since I was three, so um, pretty much any time we cover something that has her in it, I'm going to be 100% biased toward her character, unless it's Game of Surprise. Um, that's like the one, the one, eh, nope, sorry, nope. But anyway, um, so you might be wondering at this point, like many people were the first time they watched it, how in the world is there a movie here? Is it about the married couple? Because that seems boring. Or maybe it's about the best man, but that seems a little trite. And who is Lena Headey going to get into bed with? Well, we'll answer all these questions in our own damn time. So it, this is an LGBT movie. Um, it features a lesbian as well as a bisexual woman um, and a couple of pretty understanding and cool uh, cishet guys. So, um, you know, it's it's good fun. For the most part, it avoids the, um, you know, general... Bio erasure and uh, negative tropes that you see in a lot of films, um, but it does play a little bit of the um, bisexual cheating trope, but not not overly. Um, yeah, it, it, it basically. So they meet at the wedding, right? And um, Luce helps get the ring and saves the day and then just kind of disappears because, I mean, she's the floral arrangement lady. They don't generally stick around for the whole wedding, um, especially not the whole reception. So, um, yeah, everything went, went well, fine. Go ahead. It's also her own fault, though, because she did make friends with all of them. She was bound to get that phone call. It's really true. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that phone call being uh, it. Well, so. She speaks to uh, 
Peck and Rachel and Coop all at the wedding. And uh, Coop ends up being like, hey, can you get me that flower girl's information? Because she was hot. Because of course she is. <laughs> it's Lena Headey. <laughs> <laughs> and Peck is just like, hell yeah, I'll just send Rachel over uh, under the guise of, you know, thanking her, and we'll totally, you know, get her your information. Instead of doing that, they invite her to dinner in a double blind date. Which, uh, you know, works marvelously because. Such an. Yeah. Yeah. Awkward dinner. <laughs> Super awkward dinner. And Heck is cracking up because he's the only one who's realized, okay, Luce is gay. Mm -hmm. Coop has no chance. She's just being nice. This is hilarious. It really is. It, it was. It's one of my favorite scenes <laughs> in the whole damn thing because it's just so delightfully awkward and perfectly orchestrated to be the maximum level of awkward. Oh, it really was. The only way they could have made it more awkward is if Anthony Head's bumbling father character had come in for no apparent reason. That would have been fantastic, but I love Anthony Stewart Head. So do I. He, he played the bumbling dad 100% perfect. Oh my god! He did it so well, and like especially like at the beginning, I get the wedding when he's doing like his like super awkward dancing, and the mother is just like, "Oh God, please stop." Yes, it and the <laughs> the byplay between the parents is just so good because it's like it it's relatable. You're watching and you're going, "Oh God, they they really they're really doing this." Like, okay then. <laughs> Um, how have they stayed together this long? But there's also this level of, oh, there it is. They love each other. They're exacerbated by yeah. each other. They're exasperated yeah. with each other. But they love each other. They do. Um, but back to the main story. Because they have a total of, what, like five, six scenes? <laughs> Yeah. Um, so after after the, the very awkward dinner, um, Rachel's like, I'm so sorry. I have to, like, give you another dinner or invite you to something else just to apologize for this really awkward setup that we had. And Luce is going, this just sounds like the beginning to another really awkward setup. But um, you're hot, and I... <laughs> definitely want to see more of you and I'm capable of keeping this completely platonic and ugly yeah. not nope I think my favorite scene is um, in the uh, in the market or the the store where Luce's friend and Rachel's friend just keep bringing them back to each other yeah. Purposefully on oh, no. Lisa's friend's part, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I kind of love the scene where they're doing, like, DDR together and having that random day together. That was really cute. That is a really cute scene. Yeah. It, but, but honestly, it... The supermarket scene is just so relatable to me. Yeah. I can, I can see that actually happening in my life. My my friends tend to be a little manhandly, or I manhandle them. It's one of the two. There, there's no. That's just how it is. But um, but yeah. So it over over the course of several events, uh, including the accidental kind of sort of date, um, the two of them fall quite heavily for each other. Meanwhile, in the background. Heck and Rachel are trying to figure out why the, um, why the hell their sex life suddenly sucks. It's, it's gone all, you know, um, 
it it follows the trope of oh you're married now it's a ball and chain you have no passion anymore and i feel like yeah. that's the trope that it follows more closely than the bisexual cheating trope because yeah. she's not trying to and the moment she realizes she has feelings she goes to everyone including heck feeling horrible and trying to fix it Mm -hmm. and heck is just like well i mean this makes sense that that would be why we're no longer you know passionate with each other and i want both of you to be happy so i guess you know go be happy you have my blessing and she's like that's not what i came here for (laughs) And he just kind of shoves her out the door and is like, well, that's what you're getting. And I'm telling Coop, so he's on the same bandwagon. You two are getting together. Yeah. But Luce is freaking out because she's like, oh, God, I've made her cheat. We've had this romp in my flowers, which was totally not intended by either of us. I was avoiding her. I'm, this is stupid. I'm, I'm breaking up a marriage. Yeah. And tries to flee, like, the entire town, shuts up shop for the day or weekend or whatever, and is like, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave, I'm just gonna drive out of here, bye. Which is so, so much an overreaction, but it's a very gay overreaction. Yeah... Which, uh, yeah. I'm not going to say that I haven't had that uh, that urge, because I have several times. We're about as good at that as we are at, you know, you hauling <laughs> So, you know, very, uh, very it had, accurate. It had to have some of our tropes in there. It did. It wouldn't be um, <laughs> a good... LGBT movie if it didn't have any of the tropes. Had to have at least one cliche in it. Exactly. And it, you know, makes the way for a uh, just general um, rom-com trope of oh no, they're stuck in traffic. Yeah. But it's a really cute moment because it references back to the soccer match date. Yes. It, there's there's a lot of a lot of little pieces that go into that scene that make it so much more than the trope that it is. Um, With the amazing background music on it. Yes, which is of course is, "Happy Together" by the Turtles. Which is also how they got the name for the movie. Yes. Um. So I I love it, and you know there aren't any like. It's it's a rom com. There aren't any any super provocative or um, poignant quotes. It's but pretty much just a fluff piece, but it's so great. It really is. There is one <laughs> one cute scene um, between Luce and her mom, where she says. I met this girl, but she's with someone else. And her mom asks, does she love you? I I don't know. No. Yes. But it doesn't matter. And her mom just, like, gently, like, rubs her hand on Luce's face and, and just, like, almost condescendingly says, oh, it's all that matters. And that ultimately is what makes her run away. Pretty much. But it, it's a cute little scene, and her mom just gets it, and I love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Which is also the really cute scene that her mom was like, yeah, I'm even getting back out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, there, there's a lot of just cuteness in this movie. Um, you know, it's a rom-com, so you don't go into it expecting anything amazing in terms of, you know, lighting or sound or music or anything like that. 
Um, you just go into it expecting a fluff piece, which is what you get. And it's a it, it's it, a particularly like better than normal fluff piece. It really is. You can tell they did at least put a decent budget to it. Like they they put a good amount of effort into it. Like it's got a good look. It's got a good feel. It's not overly cheesy. It's yeah. It's great. I love it. Yeah, I mean they they put roughly eight million into this movie. Mm-hmm. Most of that, I would say, probably went to the actors, but um, yeah. But you know, it it was it was a good movie. They did a a good job with what they were attempting to do, you know. Um, yeah. And so far as LGBT rom coms go, I'd say it's leagues above the, you know, the majority in terms of lighting and sound, especially. You know, it with the cast that they give us, obviously it's going to be, you know, above the average in terms of acting. Like, oh yeah, these are top bill actors in this a- weird little film. It is such a great cast. It's so good. They did a marvelous job with the casting. Um, they didn't get anywhere close to like meeting their budget. They this movie definitely flopped because it's an LGBT, you know, film. Um, but it's so worth watching, especially if you're part of, you know, the the queer spectrum. It's just so cute. It's it such is. a cute movie. It just gives you warm fuzzies, and it's just so cute. Like, oh, like, speaking of warm fuzzies, just another cute little scene I remember. Remember the scene where she's uh, visiting uh, Heck's little school presentation, and they've got all the lights off, and it's they're sitting next to each other. It's so cute. Oh, yeah, Heck's sisters. Try not to touch. Yeah. 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 It's adorable. It's when they both kind of realize... Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's great. Really, any it's, scene that has to do with H, yeah, is adorable. H is Hex's little sister, and she's precious. She's what twelve? She's precious, something like that. But that's how they meet in the very beginning is because H asks Luce, like, uh, what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object or whatever? And she actually sits down and explains it. And that's how she befriends them is because she keeps answering H's question. Yep. Yep. It's, it's so great. It is. And, and H is super concerned when everything goes down because she's like, well, I... I love both of them. I want them to be happy, but I want my brother to be happy too. Am I allowed to be, you know, happy for them, but also upset for my brother? I don't understand. Why can't the three of you just be together? Like what she has so many questions and so many feelings and no idea what to do with any of them. And again, it was very genuine. It was. Um, and she's the only one who who isn't really from or in anything else. Like this is literally her only acting credit on IMDb, mm-hmm. which is just bizarre to me. Um, but yeah, it really fun movie. Definitely, definitely you should watch it. Um, it's one that I I've gone to you know time and again to cheer me up when I'm feeling down. And I've purchased it in two different formats. Like, I have a DVD, and I've purchased it on Google Play, okay? So, like... These days, like, someone purchasing it once is, is saying something. Someone purchasing it twice is like, come on, you gotta watch. It is true. But uh but yeah, so overall, um considering it's you know, considering the genre, I would give this film a solid like seven or eight out of ten. Definitely. 
it, it, it's it's a great movie. It, it's nothing spectacular, but it's still really good. I love it. I give it a seven or an eight. Yeah. So uh, it is it is unanimous a seven point five for this film. Um, and I think that's all I have to say on it. Do you have anything else that we uh, that we missed? I think we pretty much covered everything I would want to talk about. Cool. So, um, guys, you can find us on, or you can find JPS on Facebook, Patreon, or Instagram as Jaded Phoenix Studios. And on Twitter, we are Jaded Phoenix STU. Um, and as a reminder to everyone, Phoenix is spelled O E, not E O. Uh, I can be found on Twitch um, and Instagram as Zan B. Quinn with two N's. And Mandy can be found on uh, Twitch as Firefly325 and Twitter as Firefly3255. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we would love any feedback you have for us. Um, we've got a long list of movies that we want to cover, but, uh, we are happy to add more. We're kind of film junkies. A little bit. Just a little. Um, oh. that, that may have... Quite unhealthy obsession. You know, <laughs> most of our bonding may revolve around movies. Who's to say? No one. Yeah, no one Nobody knows. knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> Um, but yeah, hit that subscribe button if you want some more, and uh, definitely it, you are welcome and encouraged to leave us some comments. Have a great one, and until next time, thank you for watching or listening. Bye! Bye!